If you ever wanted to start a podcast, but you really didn't want to get into all the details and you were just confused about how to set it up for a live stream, well, there are some really neat apps out there, and I'm going to show you one today, Streamlabs' own Melon. Now, they have sponsored this video, and I want to let you know that I'm going to give you my unbiased opinion about the app. I'm going to show you some things that you can do with it, and I'll even show you a demo that I did using the app here a couple weeks ago. So if you're interested in that, then stay tuned. So let's talk about Melon. So Melon is web-based live streaming. Really nice. Now you have to use Google Chrome to do this. Uh, currently, I don't think there's any other browser that is supported and that includes on your mobile device. But you can broadcast to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Periscope, up to four different platforms at the same time under the pro plan. Uh, there are two basic plans that do come with this and that is the basic plan, which is of course free but it gives you things like watermark, limited brand customization, which is like uh, backgrounds and stuff. You're limited to the type of backgrounds. You can only have up to one guest and you got streaming limits, which is four hours. I think that's per month on the basic plan. The pro plan at $15 per month or annually at $12 and 50 cents, you get unlimited streaming up to six guests unlimited brand customization, no watermark, full 1080p uh, broadcasting, VIP support, stream recording, which is really nice if you wanna have a separate uh, archive of your live stream, custom RTMP support, multi-streaming and disconnect protection. Okay, so I have my camera working now in inside of Melon. And I've got, like I said, I've got my USB video capture selected, I'm at full uh, resolution 1080p 30 and all I need to do to show this on the stream is to click show on stream now when you do this you see there's a couple uh, different suggested uh, things that you can do based on what you are uh, showing on your camera now I don't have a share screen working right now but let's say I wanted to uh, show discord for instance so I can go to share screen and I can go to application and I can choose Discord. And then once it's loaded, you can actually show on stream and it will automatically reframe your scene for your camera and for Discord. And then there's a couple of options. If you really want to uh, focus on Discord, you can hit another scene that lowers the resolution or lowers the size of your camera and increases the size of your share screen. Uh, you could also do this with your displays if you have multiple displays on your PC. So it's really nice. Uh, this is a good feature and this is how I was doing things uh, inside my Streaming 101 that I did three weeks ago where I was able to share my presentation. I use Google Docs to do this uh, and I was able to share the presentation right here as you had a view of me. Now the great thing about this too, uh, inviting a guest in, this is a really nice feature. So if you just click on this you will get a link that you can then say post to discord or post to uh an email if you have an email you can email it to somebody that you know you want to invite and then they can just click on that link and it doesn't have to be on the pc they can also do it on their phone key to remember when you're using your phone is that you use google chrome so you have to download the app if you do not have it already installed but it really is simple to do. Uh, as you can see, the setup through the phone is actually really easy. And once you join, it goes right into the call and then the host slash producer can then put you in and then share screens. And like I said, it'll automatically frame everything for you right there. So it's really nice. And then you can go in and as producer and host, you can then set up your scenes that with different suggested scenes or other scenes that they offer within the app. And then of course you can then share the screens. And it's just really nice that it auto frames everything for you once you get everything set up. And also gives you indications on when the guest is speaking, which is also a nice little feature within the app itself. Okay, so one of the really nice things is the on the fly production value that comes with uh, melon here. So uh, under edit screen, you get a 
so good selection of options that you can do that you can make on fly adjustments. For instance, you can have a kind of like a, a, a title name for your for your camera so that you can add names of your guests and all that stuff. And you can, like I said, you can do this on the fly if you wanted to. And it's right there. Uh, so that when you bring your people in, they're, you know, they're, they're available. Um, you can also have full HD quality, again, like 1080p. Uh, you can turn on recording on and off. That way you have a dedicated archive of your podcast or presentation. Um, you can have participant names. You can do audio status. Things like TTS when a guest joins, which is a really neat little feature. Um, and say if you have a brand logo like I do, you can add a logo to your uh, scene. Uh, you can add banners, which this is a really nice because you can have these like little lower thirds so that you can then, you know, when you're presenting a new topic, you can have, uh, you know, your topic name added to the uh, lower third and you have it right there. You also have a little ticker at the bottom, which I used uh, recently when we were doing a giveaway. And, uh, you know, you can have this at the bottom. Again, this is another thing that you can change. Um, you know, you could turn it off and change it. Uh, same with the banner too. Uh, you don't have to have the banner up, uh, but you can change the title. And then when you're ready to display it, you just pop it up. But uh, really nice little features. And then of course you got your backgrounds here. I really like these at the bottom. Uh, let me uh, change the view here. So you have these backgrounds where you can uh, show them and they have some textures to them and they have various ones with different colors. They like purple for some reason. And, uh, you know, those are nice. Uh, they do have ones with definitely more crazy uh, textures and patterns that you can add if you like those, or you can upload your own. Like I have Battlefield here that I app, uh, uploaded a couple different backgrounds to test. And these are all stored on the cloud, so they're really cool. All right, now that you understand the UI and how to set it up for streaming, the next thing that we really need to do now is connect your account so you can actually go live. So up here in the upper right hand corner where you're, you'll have an icon, uh, which you can customize yourself. As you can see, I've added my uh, personal one here. Go to settings. And here in settings, you have all of your different platforms that you can connect, you can link accounts to. Uh, and for instance, my YouTube and my Twitch are here. I can uh, go in and reconnect these and let the API link up and I can do the same thing for Twitch. And we should be good to go there. Now I can now go live and click the studio button and get back to the studio UI and I can go live. I can set public here. I can go here and add titles i can do the description and then press the button and you end up going live it's pretty easy simple to set up and that's what i really like a lot about melon is just its ease of use all right so let's talk about some of the things i think i really like about melon and then we'll talk about some of the things we can improve upon first of all the ease of use i just talked about it the interface is intuitive easy to use you don't know, need a whole lot of technical knowledge to get going and get started with melons. And you know, the simplest five clicks is what they say, and I believe it uh, really is. Just get, you can jump right in, and with a simple setup of a webcam and a microphone, you're ready to roll. I like that it's cloud based. Uh, it minimizes the load on your PC, especially if you're using something like a laptop where you would require a lot of encoding uh, power to be able to do that yourself. Uh, being that this is cloud-based, you can stream from pretty much anything. I like that the backgrounds are stored on the cloud. If you have a particular background that you want to use that you make yourself, you can upload it and it'll be there ready for you to use. I also like the quality of the audio and the video. Uh, I downloaded my own uh, tutorial that I did three weeks ago and overall the quality I thought looked pretty good uh, considering that you don't really have the option to choose what quality settings you're going to be streaming at other than the resolution. Now keep in mind this is dependent on the quality of your guest connection and your micro and the microphone that they're using. I mean, if they have a crappy microphone, they have a, a bad connection, the video quality is just not going to be good for them. But overall, uh, considering what I did with my testing, it looked really good. If you again have good quality connection and audio. 
I like the production features that this offers. Melon gives you the option to, you know, on the fly change lower thirds, have backgrounds, that have different auto framing selections that you can use that it suggests that are available to you right there. Uh, the ability to be able to share your screens, your app and browser tabs are really nice. And the ability to produce on the fly using text and different banner options. I like that the free plan comes with a lot of the features that you can try and test before you wanna really dedicate yourself to a monthly subscription pro account. So you can get in there, you can test it, you can see how it works, you can get used to it and see whether or not it's gonna work for your own podcast or presentation. Also like the combined chat and private chat. It's a nice little feature that you can have all of your connected accounts show up in one area. And it can, you know, it keeps you right there on the UI. You don't have to have dashboards up for all your different accounts to be able to see those different chats, which is, is a good feature. Now, things I'd like to see improved i would like to see more editing features uh to that would increase your production quality things like full font editing with the ability to add like underlines and inner and outer strokes the different font weights like bold and italic and semi-bold that are offered with a lot of these fonts that they you know have already available inside of melon i would also like to see different lower thirds added, different styles, different color options, uh, different layers, like you can have like a main title and subtitle lower third together. And I would also like to see some uh, pre-built like animated lower third, something like a simple fade in, fade out, a slide in, slide out, would re really be nice to have. And it would add production value to your podcast or presentation. One of the things that I found the hard way and something I would like to see added is the ability to have your live mic still on your presentation working when you don't have your camera shared. Uh, so if, you go, if you're if you sharing a screen and you remove your camera so that you can share the screen full screen, your mic also goes away. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and start off this presentation by uh, going through this uh, PowerPoint. Maybe I need to have my, uh, maybe I need to have this up for the uh, mic to be working. It's not a good thing to do when you're trying to explain what's going on on that shared screen and your audience can't hear you talking. So I would love to see your microphone be able to stay live even though you remove your camera. I would also like to see additional quality settings. So right now, basically the only thing that you can do is uh, you can choose the resolution that you want to live stream at. And so the pro account, you can go up to 1080p, but you really don't know what the bit rate is. I would like to see quality settings and if, say they could give you the ability to do a uh, very high, high, medium quality. And then that would represent a different bit rate that they can display along on that pull down, say, you know, for high quality, it would say like high quality 6,000 uh, because there are, you know, bit rate, high end bit rates you can send to say YouTube that, you know, allows up to 16,000. And if your upload can support it, your viewers have transcoding on YouTube that they can lower uh, or stay in auto that will automatically lower their bit rate uh, if they, you know, if they don't have a good quality connection to YouTube. And that's really, the, uh, all the things I can think of they really need to improve upon right now, the big things. I mean, I'm sure there's tons of options that they can do, you know, give you that would improve the overall production quality of your podcast. But those are really the ones I think they really need to focus on right now uh, that would, you know, give what they already have even better um, value. All right, so that's my review of Melon. Uh, it's a really neat app super easy to use and i think it's great for podcasters i think it's a great way for people to get in uh, that don't have a lot of production background and a lot of tech knowledge on more advanced uh, broadcast software like obs studio for instance or vmix they can go in they can just hop right in and it's browser based they don't even have to install the software on their pc and they can you know be able to in invite your guests on various different platforms include mobile devices is really nice uh super easy to use uh, and again i mean you don't have to have a ton of knowledge to be able to get this uh you know you could just have a simple camera 
a simple microphone and you can get right in there and get going so and it's really good again for presentations especially if you want to if you're a streamer educator like myself or you educate in different things like say i don't know cooking music whatever you can live stream uh even teachers nowadays with this with the situation we're dealing with with the with the covid um you can go in and you can you can you know use this to you can use melon to set up a presentation for your class which is really nice and they could watch it on a live stream so i love it i think it's really neat uh, i'm looking forward to continuing to use it for different things and uh you know hopefully uh we can see some of these improvements that i have suggested so we'll see all right guys again thank you uh stream labs for allowing me to uh test and review melon i do appreciate the opportunity uh i really think they have a good product here and i think that there's a lot of people that can find good use for it other than that guys i hope you have a great week and i hope that uh if you like this video that you would hit the like i would really appreciate it, it helps me out a lot and if you like more videos like this and tutorials and more advanced type tutorials like on OBS Studio and audio solutions like Voice Meter, that you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications and you'll know when I have a video that goes live. But other than that guys, have a great week. Be safe out there and Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. We'll see you later.